Thank you. Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here and... Bradley. Bradley. Laundry boy. Laundry boy Bradley. Let's see. It is March 29th, 2017. It is 7.10 p.m. already. Sorry that we're coming on here so late, but we've been kind of busy. Um, let me do the weather. Weather is dun 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 I have my bracelets hanging right up above here. You can't see them because um, when I'm just around the house, I take I do take them off because I'm always doing so much with my hands and I don't want to get like paint, you know, when I'm out painting and um, I'm always, you know, wrestling with the dogs and stuff. So I don't want them to get ruined, um, but I love them. I did paint yesterday some. Um, and Brad thinks that abstract's turning out pretty cool. Yes. And um, cleaned house. And I wanted to say that you guys saw we were doing that love mail thing, uh, the video yesterday, and it ended real abruptly. What happened with Brad startles real easily at just a reflex thing. Um, and um, uh, oh, I was gonna get those. No, I got them. Um, and. Uh, he accidentally dislocated my thumb. That's why I ended it so fast. That's why, first of all, I I, I said the F word because uh, it really hurt. And um, it, it dislocated my thumb, and that's why I just didn't even think about saying goodbye. I just shut it off um, and stuff. And I did not want to have to redo it later on because we had opened that box that Lee had, had sent us and stuff. You know, I wasn't going to try to fake it and uh you know i figured well you know it was good enough the way it was so my thumb's okay it's sore but we got it back in place my thumb has been giving me trouble for years so um uh you know it's just kind of swollen and sore but uh it was an accident and uh um he beat himself up enough about it didn't you honey yeah. Well, you know, like I told you, I was I was concerned that that people seeing a really minute sliver of our life would be under the wrong assumption that I beat the shit out of you yeah. every day. Yeah. Whereas usually it's the other way around. You know? Oh, will you please not tell people that? <laughs> I hope they know I'm joking. He, he's you joking, know? guys. Nobody is beating anybody. No. No, <laughs> except for you usually beat me at gym. Well, and the dog beats us to death with his oh, tail. Geez, yeah. You know, you know but. Yeah, I was I was concerned about that, you know, because yeah. you know I would never ever yeah ever dream of. But you know, when something happens and something really hurts, you just your instant reflex is to end this, and because I knew I needed to have him help me get it back in place very quickly, or else it was going to swell and we couldn't get it back in place, and then it would have cost me a lot of money to go in and have somebody put it back in place. So anyway, um, I did do some looming, not too much because. My hand um, is sore, you know, my thumb and, and down this way. But um, I did do this hat, which I really love. And, yes, the pattern is one of my own. But, yeah. I wasn't too sure about this. This is a mint, and it goes into a brown, and I paired it. This is double-stranded strand because um, I paired it with a white. But it turned out quite nice. And then... You know, it's got the, this is some of that tan, um, thicker, uh, bulky yarn that Linda had sent me. And then also, this is some yarn also she has sent me. So I use that to make a nice thick brim. This is a large adult. Um, so didn't get anything else done besides that. Um, today we've been shopping. Uh, um, we had errands to run and then, uh. Uh, we went shopping, um, and, um, uh, did pick up some new towels, 
which I'm excited about. We haven't bought new towels in probably 20 years at least. Um, these are real nice. The extra absorbent bath towels by Better Homes and Garden. Okay, hun. They're real nice and thick. And um, uh, they were only $5 a piece. So we picked up four of them. That's all we got. And then um, I'm going to try. Let me have suggested this uh, for uh, to help you sleep. And it says you should take three of these 30 minutes before you want to go to sleep. So we're going to try these because it's just uh, the Larian root and um, uh, see rice flour and gelatin. So, um, yeah. We are going to try this and see if this helps. Because um, we already take, we already normally take melatonin. Um, and you, I mean, you can't, you can't do both, I don't think. I wouldn't. I mean, I would definitely cross reference. Um, but you know, to give you a break, sometimes if you're taking it, something to help you sleep, your body gets so used to it that then you need to, you know, take something else for a few nights. Um, so it'll be a nice, and it was very expensive. It was only $4 for a hundred capsules. So, you know, um, so give that a try. And then I did get one more thing is I normally like to drink iced tea. And I haven't been able to have really any iced tea. I like to make my own. I have all the plenty of tea bags. Um, but I didn't. We have, Again, we haven't bought a new pitcher in probably over 20 years. And this was less than $3. I, I do like this one because it does actually lock down too. So, you know, that's nice. Um, we were afraid we didn't have enough room in our fridge. That's why we hadn't been... Hadn't bought one, but we discovered if you buy a gallon of milk, if you lay it, if the cap's on really tight, and you can lay it on its side and still make do. So, yeah, see, my hair's all coming undone because I've been riding around in the Jeep with the window down because that's what we do. But anyway, I'm excited and I thought it had pretty flowers. So, tomorrow, I get to make some iced tea because. Iced tea worked really well for me as a diuretic, too, because I have been swelling up so massively bad, even though I'm taking, you know, all those Lasix. I'm taking 100 milligrams of Lasix a day. Um, I'm swelling up really bad, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the iced tea, too, uh, and that helps cut down my consumption of the pop. Uh, I'm not giving up my pop all the way, but... I, and would like to cut it in half and um, uh, see if that helps. And then we are going to change doctors. Uh, we're going to make an appointment with a new doctor and stuff and get going on that. So, anyway, that's how we really got going on. Mailed off my granddaughter's little package. She misses me. She misses us so badly. And she really has a hard time with it. And, you know, she's been on spring break this week, so we've got an opportunity to talk a lot. And, um, you know, she's been having trouble with her grades and stuff, so I'm really, really pushing her about, you know, if you don't want to have summer school and you want to be able to come out, you got to get those grades up and keep them up. Uh, so um, I sent her, my, my wonderful friend Linda Kay has sent me a, a package of buttons that had... Um, some cat ones in it, and it had some skull ones, including some sugar skull ones, which my granddaughter loves that stuff too. It had owls. It had, um, she had asked me about those, uh, the Barbie or the princess heart, um, buttons, and I sent all of those to my granddaughter because, oh yeah, she wanted those, those, uh, Disney Barbie princess buttons, uh, the, the heart ones. I sent her, a, a few of the owl, a few of the puppy dog ones. I sent her some of the cat ones. I sent her some of the skull ones. And then I sent her a few other ones I had around here that I knew she would really like. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, I sent her an old journal I had since I got my new planner. Actually, it's a planner. Uh, since you got, um, I got a new planner. I sent her my old one, which was geared towards schoolwork anyway. And then the planner I have 
came with the three sheets of, of small stickers. I don't use stickers. Um, you know, it's just not my th thing. I think they're cute and everything. I just never use them. And I knew she would like them. So I sent those to, I sent her a letter in with it. And what else did I send her? Um, oh, and I sent her a pair of socks that my husband had bought me that I knew would just really, would be too tight um, on the on my ankle. So I sent those to her. She gets a kick out of that. Gets a kick out of a little package to, addressed to her and stuff. So we mailed that today um, and stuff. We didn't go out to, to eat or anything. Um, and what else did we do? Hmm. Just putting away groceries, you know, um, and all that fun stuff. Um, don't really have a topic for today. Um, I'm anxious to get outside and paint and stuff tomorrow. I'll probably spend the rest of the evening paying a few bills, setting up a few things, and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, oh, one thing I was going to talk about is, well, there's a couple of things I was going to talk about. Uh, one I think I'll save for tomorrow. Um, but the one thing is, we have pretty much decided that we're probably going to stay here in the RV park through the summer. Um, we never heard back from anybody on that trailer. My husband called four times. Each time he got uh, a voicemail and he left messages and stuff. Nobody ever called back or anything. So, you know, and, uh, you know, I really feel if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Um, unless something, unless an opportunity presents itself, that's it's just too good to, to pass up. It probably would be better for us to stay here in the RV park. Um, basically, if my granddaughter does come to the summit, there's a lot more for her to do in the RV park. Because there is a swimming pool, there is a shuffleboard and the volleyball uh, court, you know, the volleyball net, there is a fishing right there off the pier, there also is a nice game room that has foosball and, and all kinds of different stuff, so, you know, there would be a lot more stuff for her to do, um, I really care in about a number of our neighbors, so, you know, um, I would really miss them a lot, and, um, just want to kind of play it safe. I mean, um, you know, it would be better to wait if we can until Brad gets his next promotion, um, which would be a store of its own because, you know, the pay would increase a lot. Um, so we could afford to then buy something. Um, and, you know, we're kind of looking at, you know, it might be kind of nice to have a second vehicle. My might be kind of nice to have a vehicle I could just get in and, you know, if I wanted to go into town or, you know, need to go pick up prescriptions or whatever. So, you know, we're just going to kind of hang loose and see what happens. Uh, you know, there's worse things in the world and there's people that are living in much smaller rigs than we're in and, and stuff. And, uh, you know, that $400 a month. Let's say 450 if you in, you count in our electric and our cable or not cable our internet. So 450 a month for for our our lot rent and for all of our utilities, not counting in our our cell phone. But that's not a basic, you know. So you know that's pretty darn good. And you know, so we just kind of wait and see. You know, just kind of wait and see. You gotta kind of go by your gut instinct. Your gut instinct says, you yeah, know, you don't want to get yourself wrapped into, you know, paying, you know, $800 a month and then all the utilities and stuff, you know, right now. So, you know, I'd like to have some savings with that first. So, we're going to pr proceed cautiously. And just make do, which we are doing, and we've been doing, and we've been doing it for almost a year. So, you know, if we can do it for this long, yeah. So, anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day. And I do love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.